Hello everyone and welcome back to Bioshock. This is episode 10 where last time we went through Apollo Square and found our way through to Point Prometheus where we are becoming a big daddy. Um, I have recovered to where I am uh, to where we're up to now uh, after again some more lovely save crashes so <laughs> I have the full outfit uh, I'm ready to go and do our next objectives, which is to smell and sound uh, like a big daddy. Um, and let's let's just see how we go. Let's just see how many save crashes we have today, and how many weird glitches, and uh, and how it all goes. You know, it is it is what it is. But yeah, caught up to where I where I was up to before. I even found a new uh, recording, so I'll play that one now. Uh, I found another one from Su Chong. Uh, which I believe was this one. Uh, there's a there's a there was an ice wall that I could have lit up, and there's I think it's this one. Fontaine yes. is dead. Bad for Fontaine. Good for Suchong. Play hard to get it for a bit. Then Mr. Ryan get hungry for me. Tenenbaum gone. Fontaine gone. Su Chong, only one who know all about little sister. Like I said, it's very good for Su Chong. There you go. So we found that hidden behind a wall. Again, I've probably missed uh, a bunch. Um, we are. I am getting close because I'm looking at like the the achievements because the achievements gives you a percentage and everything. We're at ninety one percent for the audio recording. So we've actually done not too bad. We have one weapon upgrade to find. Um, it's just unfortunate that there's like a couple of, uh, you know, a couple of things that might have been missed or like are not being recorded correctly. Like I was talking about how the rosy research is bugged at 97%. So it gives a good little, you know, good little amount. But what I'm going to do is I don't think I'll be able to finish recording cameras, but I'll try. But this is not like putting on after shave. You will need three industrial applications for this stuff, and then the little ones will be thrown to you like a bee to honey. You will have to gather three pheromones here, so that you smell disgusting, just like a big daddy. Alright. Smell time. But if I find more cameras, I might be able to... That's the, the cameras are the last thing I need to research as well, so... We'll have to, we'll have to see how I go in terms of... Researching cameras. Because I've left it I've left it a little too late, unfortunately. Because I was like I accidentally made that discovery when I was like, wait, we can do turrets and we can do bots. Does that mean I can do cameras? And yes, the answer is yes, you can research cameras. And I just overlooked that detail, so it's taken me until this point in time to actually do something about that. Already rescued all the little sisters, so we don't need to worry about that. Here's our pheromone sample. I can only be glad I three. am nowhere near you and that awful stink. <laughs> Why the little ones are drawn to the smell of those pheromones is beyond anything I can understand. You push me too far, kid. When you're cold and stiff. I'm gonna go over to Mother Goose's house, and I'm gonna take it apart, piece by piece, and brat by brat. Consider it your legacy. Thanks, bud. I know why it has to be children, but why just girls? This I cannot determine why, but I know it is so. Fontaine says, ah, oh, one less bathroom to build in the orphanage. It is amazing to watch the effect of Adam on their small bodies. Their own cells replaced by the new stems the instant they are damaged. These children are practically invulnerable. It is a shame you could not do the same thing to an adult. There would be quite a market for a man you could not kill. Quite a market for a man you could not kill. I'm trying to hang back away from 
the music and then I'm picking up the pheromone sample just in case it triggers like quest dialogue so I want to be make sure we listen to the tapes first I kind of have to do everything in a in an order especially for capturing the story you know um, I've had a few instances in some episodes that I've um, already like had uploaded ready to go is uh, getting copyrighted for like class like the old uh, old timey lovely music you know it's a couple of tracks have gotten copyrighted so I'm trying to like hang back away from whenever there's music going on for that reason unfortunately it is what it is it is what it is I'm really crawling your load. it doesn't happen all the time but it's just for like some particular particular songs that it pops up for no need to bug the rosies because we've already done everything with the little sisters now I will this is already our active one, so I just need to look around and I guess I'll find our third sample. Good night, sweet prince. It's pretty tragic stuff though. <laughs> like dude. And the door control being up there, so they can't, uh, they can't reach it. All the drawings, uh, This is like, this is just like sad stuff, dude. Really? Is our director's commentary for this level? I thought we'd be able to open this one. Okay. Hidey hole. Oh, God. Again, it's just dark. There's a lot of it that kind of reminds it uh, me of. Um, a lot of it reminds me of Akira as well. You got. Now, Akira has all of the, uh... Oh, okay, you're up there. Cool. Akira has all of the gifted children kind of thing that they're going along with. It's nowhere near the same, but it's similar. I could hold more than five the automatic hack tools to be honest but what can you do I got money that I need to spend at least so it's busted I didn't mean to... so dead. oh there it is there's our last one look at you we will make big daddy out of you yes I think Stinky. there is only one piece missing the voice box modification machine in optimized eugenics. I love the I love what they're doing in terms of the uh, the art style, like this kind of stuff. Like teaching them that this dead person they're an angel and like they always stay close to a friend. The big daddies they like how they're drawn. As mother goose really got her hooks into you. You can knock Ryan all you want, but the old man was bingo on one point of fact. You won't even walk till somebody says go. Fontaine's just so salty. Because he can't control us anymore. Cry about it, Fontaine. <laughs> Okay, it's voice box time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save now. I'm gonna save. 
Save successful? That's good. That's always good news. Uh, this is the room that the hidden voxophone. It's not even a voxophone, I'm pretty sure. I need to I need to stop I keep calling them voxophones. Uh, <laughs> messages. I keep calling them voxophones for because of goddamn Bioshock Infinite. <laughs> It is. So, live subject testing. Just a few alert tiles, ain't no, ain't no big deal. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. Let's become a big daddy, right? It's the best. Four fewer alarm tiles when hacking. Oh, that's great. So we can have four fewer alarm tiles and four fewer overload tiles. I'm probably good for um, inven invention stuff now. Twice as many. Oh yeah, because you get twice as many as normal. I forgot about that. Um, let's get rid of that. That's why I keep getting overloaded with all of the items that I'm making. So I'm getting a bunch. Voice box time. That looks nice, doesn't it? That looks like it's nice and clean. We're gonna be, we're gonna be good. Voice box modification. Sure. This looks fun. Yes. Now this is a big daddy. Are you ready? Now go to the little sister vent by the proving grounds. I got rapture now. I've got the atom now. You think that pill suits even half enough to put the scare in me? I don't know, man. You keep fucking yelling at me when you don't need to. It sounds like you're pretty s spooked, bud. Just to be, you know. You know. I love that he's like keeps keeps trying to like egg us on. And like say shit, but I'm like, bud, like, if you didn't care so much, I don't think you'd be trying to, uh, I don't think you'd be trying so hard. And oh boy, is he trying. So, we are now a big daddy in appearance, smell, and sound. You need to bring and it's time to summon a little sister. Let you in the door. Go on, hit the vent with your wrench. How weird, right? And look at this, by the way. And better. It would mean very much to me if you will be gentle with the girl. Mein kleines Mädchen. So we've summoned, right? What's really strange here is this: the little sister we've summoned is she's fine. Like, look at her. She's like, I'm all normal looking. I don't know whether that's effects of us being a big daddy now. It might have like fucked with stuff, and like we now perceive them like that. Uh, or whether that's like just like one of Tenenbaum's nice little sisters that we've summoned because it's, it's very strange because it's like Tenenbaum has a whole little group that uh, think of us very nicely because we've saved them all but it, so it's just very interesting that we don't get this like Tenenbaum just doesn't go here our little sisters can help you out so it's it's very interesting so the only way that I could chalk it up in a way that makes sense for Tenenbaum not to do that is that maybe when you become, when you fully convert and become a big daddy, it kind of maybe messes with your perception of little sisters and they look normal to us now, even though they're not. Maybe. That's all that I could really probably chalk it up to. 
we would have gotten to this point and completed our Big Daddy um, transformation last episode, you know, if it didn't uh, <laughs> if it didn't crash and I had to redo everything at one in the morning. Um, so there you go. That's the um, Point Prometheus completed. And now we enter Proving Grounds. The Proving Grounds. It's time. So I got my little sister's health bar at the top. See, the icon doesn't look like... Don't be a but you must protect them. Angels don't wait for slow pokes. Yeah, because she's got like this thing still. A hundred percent. It's it's gotta be it's gotta be that where she's still got the thing where she wants to like Hurry! Hurry, Mr. Bubbles! Yeah, suck like Adam from people. And the icon looks pretty gross, so I'd say that's pretty pretty Hot damn time, fair enough. Me. No time to waste! So now we've got to follow her. That's it, kid. It's been a long road. You don't even remember most of it. Put you on a sub when you were just a sprout. Hurry! Hurry, Mr. Bubbles! Okay, I'll just have to listen out for her, I guess. If I want to look around. So we're going to need her to open all the doors for us. I can see the angel. Central Atrium. Time to go, Mr. <sighs> Jesus, man. Hop, hop, Mr. Just got crushed by it. When the when the music wants to hit hard, it hits pretty hard. The music is good. Hey. Wanna mess with me, baby? Oh man, they really just wanna They're just like, here, have everything. I'm like, oh, I'm actually pretty well stocked. I've done a pretty good job at stocking myself up at this point, so I think we're okay. <laughs> So yeah, the central atrium, there you go. <laughs> I really wound you up with that wife and child bit. Oh, me poor Moira. I me wee baby Patrick. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll get me a real family. They play well with me. Imagine Fontaine thinking you'd ever be able to get laid. Dude's an idiot. Dude is a straight idiot. And I love that he's now bringing up stuff to taunt us from way earlier in the game. That he's like, oh, I really got you with that one, didn't I, mate? He's like, okay, bro. So, what's your, what's your point again? Getting stuck on the little sister. Dancing in the sky. Ooh, it doesn't um it doesn't see me as a as an enemy. Cause I'm disguised as Big Daddy, that's cool. You sure? You sure you can't take it anymore? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Interesting. So they're free of she's free of the mental conditioning, so she is converted, we're not perceiving them wrong, but they still have a need to do the thing. Which is it's so it's so bizarre how that they're choosing to do this then. Does she get 
health back by doing this? I hope so. Oh, this just works out really well. Just do just do the security alarm. And just get him fucked up. Don't be a slowpoke, Mr. B. It's like, you know, one of those lovely escort missions. We love escort missions, don't we? We have to slowly walk through here. Time to go, I heard that. Oh. Oh. Didn't even see there. Another camera. Here's my final research opportunities. I don't think I have photographer's eye on, unfortunately, but you know, I can make do. I think I need to research two more levels, and I don't think I'll get there, unfortunately, but that's okay. That's what reloading an, an earlier save and doing it in another don't game a, does for you. Okay, so she's doing she's doing test subjects. Interesting. Hurry, Mr. B. I can see the end. Watch out! Dance the sound of their heart is being draw the attention of this flight. Oh, oh, Hurry, Mr. B. Hey, the yelling bird. Oh god, hang on. Oh shit. I just... Well, I fucked that up. I didn't think they would get to her so quickly. I was gonna hack the turrets just in case they came from another direction. She's almost dead! <laughs> what happens if she dies? Jesus. This is almost dead, so we'll see how that goes. Hurry, Mr. B. I can see the dancing in the sky. I have a feeling it's not gonna go well. Bullshit. Hello, bouncer. Hurry, Mr. B. What's he doing? Interesting. A rapture reminder. We all have Bedtime already. Let me just take a photo of this camera first. We don't know. <laughs> Get right in there. Oh, I just lost her. 
Did I lose her? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Don't know what I was thinking. Never spliced up once the whole time I was down here in this aquarium. Figured it was bad to mix business with pleasure, but... Woo! Forget all the nose candy and floor polish I've been wasting time with. This stuff is the mother's milk! So then he just starts splicing all of a sudden as well. Like, it's just like... What's he doing? He's so weird. <laughs> He's just going off the deep end. He's like, well, desperate times call for desperate measures. Time to start splicing. Alright, unfortunately we lost a little sister. That is, uh, that is a shame. Alright, just make a new save while we're here. Just to avoid having to replay the whole level. Because I don't like that. What? It just took out like almost all of her health with one hit. What? Jesus. Well, that's that's great. Love that. Straight up almost dies in one shot. I know it will. Just let me check some photos. Oh no, reduced flow speed. Alright, I think we've actually got two, I've got two more levels to photograph then, because there'll be another one that should be auto-hack, and then another one that'll end up being, um, the fully researched one. Now that is a shame. This time, I will stay close. Oh, never mind. Jesus Christ. That first one was entirely my fault, because, um... I was not even close, but the, that second one, she took one hit and was almost killed. That's insane. That's very unfortunate. You save them all, only to end up getting them killed at this point in the game. It's alright. Can always... I'm ready for dream time, Mr. B. Always reload this when I want to replay it in another life <laughs> and get through it flawlessly. But this time, unfortunately not. Keep an eye opening for the slicer. I can try, that better? Oops. 
doesn't even need most of them in the end. Hello. He looks pretty pissed off, what do you think? Yep. Oh god. Carry fight. Carry fight. I'm stuck, by the way. Like, I'm stuck against something. Yep. They just, do you think they see me as like an inferior? Better for the girls to be with you. Better with you than alone. Alone in the crawling darkness. Do you think like they view me differently? That's why they're attacking me? It could be, it could be an interesting way to, interesting way to pull it. Only the little ones can open these doors. You must protect them. Can't, can't run a little bit, like, you know, make the escort mission a little more exciting, a little, little fast-paced. Pick up the pace a little bit. The bane of all, of all playthroughs whenever there's an escort mission. Doesn't look good in there, it looks a bit warm in there. Yep. Oh, just running through the fire, no worries. Like, like, okay, bro. Like, you you were doing so well. Like, you were doing so well for yourself, and then all of a sudden we get to the end, and he's just like, okay, so I'm gonna be a splice addict now. <laughs> so guys, I'm addicted to splicing. Here we go. All my gene upgrades are done, so they just like here. By the way, this is the final fight with Fontaine, so here is everything you could ever need. Little sister escorted. Sorry that I killed two of your sisters. You must use the needle of the little sister to drain Fontaine of his Adam. It is the only way to defeat him. Drain him of his Adam. There you go. Stick it in the bad man. Alright. Uh, Anti-personnel rounds, because he is a human. Anti-personnel rounds on the machine gun. Incendiary bolts. Napalm. Explosive... Exploding buck. What are you waiting for? Pick up the needle! Fontaine waits above. There will be no going back from here. Make sure you are ready to face him before moving on. Oh, really? Point of no return. Let's save the game. Cool. We're good. Can we make it through an episode without a save crashing? I'm pretty sure we've had a save crash uh, four episodes in a row. I'm pretty sure the previous four episodes have all crashed. If not, one of them didn't, but we've definitely had three. But I'm pretty sure it was. I'm pretty sure we had uh, four save crashes in a row. So we might get it, make it through this episode, the end of take. Take it on Fontaine without there being a crash. I mean, let's hope, right? I remember when me and the crowd put you in that sub. You were no more than two. You were my ace in the hole. But you were also the closest thing I ever had to a son. No, bud. And that's why this hurts. Betrayal, kid. Life ain't strictly business. An autosave. Imagine if that cra crashed right there. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. What you doing getting juiced up like this, huh? Go! Go now! Hit it with the needle! So, you're getting a bit juiced. Here. Look at that. <laughs> Can I get it, yeah, let's go, bud. Like, what the fuck? 
I find this to be really interesting for, like, as a final fight. I totally forgot that he turns into the Hulk, essentially. Because it's just like, dude... They were like, oh, we can't have the final fight just be a normal fight against a, a human. He needs to get super spliced up. He needs to become super splice. Alright, okay. Big Daddy vs. Superman. Actually, can we... Okay, we can't take a photo of Fontaine. I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure we couldn't. Here it is! Give me your atom, sir. You think you got a shot at this? I barely can start it! Some more. I actually have a whole bunch of Adam right now, though. Watch my back while I recharge. Can we upgrade while we uh, <laughs> while we get there? Can I turn him into a security thing? <laughs> Go against him instead. Thank you. There's a gene bank around here. Does that mean there there would be a gatherer's garden here with all of this atom that we have? Would there? I doubt it. There's a health station. Look at him go, just battling up against the things. You really thought you were gonna get me, didn't you, bud? What are you doing? Catch my breath. Catch your breath. I'm gonna bury you. <laughs> Get drained, son. Oof. He's, he's, he's a strong boy, isn't he? What the hell kind of an attack is that? He's got super darkness ball of darkness. What you was, what you was capable of, even that life you thought you had, that was something I dreamed up and I tattooed inside your head. Now, if you don't call that family, I know what it is. And now, that's right, babies. That's right, babies. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. The good ending, bruh. The save the little they sisters ending. City. And you refused it. And what did you do instead? What I've come to expect of you. You saved them. You gave them the one thing that was stolen from them. A chance. A chance to learn. Take that shit. To find love. Yo. To live. And in the end, what was your reward? You never said. But I think I know. A family. How fucking good, right? How cool is that? 
And that's the end of Bioshock! We did it! We made it without there being a crash in the final episode where we become a big daddy, save the little sisters, and defeat Atlas. So that's how the- yeah, that's how the game ends. Right. Because <laughs> I was like, do we- do we leave? How the hell do we get out of here? Um, so yeah, Atlas becomes a jacked up abomination. Drain him of his, uh, drain him of his goddamn, uh, Adam. And the little sister army that we saved, um, they had to kill him. And then, I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure that there is a, the good and the bad ending. There's the save the little sister ending and harvesting the little sister ending. Otherwise, Tenenbaum would not have such a good opinion of you, and you certainly would not have had all the little sisters giving them a chance, you know? Sending them out into the world. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty rough. I don't think I've ever even seen... Uh, I don't think I've even seen the bad ending of uh, if you've harvested uh, all of the little sisters, but pretty good effort. There's my Bioshock playthrough. Guys, thank you so much for, for watching. Uh, it's been a blast to rediscover this game again after not having played it for... Uh, for over a decade, it's been a bit a long time, and I've been um, I've been super grateful um, to be able to share games uh, with you guys, and even ones that I've that I've played before. And Bioshock is one of those really really special games that's such a such a lovely time. Uh, games so much fun. We did miss one weapon upgrade, unfortunately. Uh, there was so we, were, we were so close. We were so close. So in terms of the the achievements. Um, Rosie is on 97%, even though it's fully researched, unfortunately. We got 91% through the audio diaries. Um, apparently, I didn't invent 100 items. We were close. Um, and we were almost sh short of the weapon upgrades as well. Um, Little Sister Savior, I'm pretty sure I did actually unlock that. So I think... Actually, ooh, this could be interesting. I might have, maybe it's, uh, because I've, I, the achievement has popped up for me on my Xbox app, on my Xbox application. Interesting that it says the players defeated Atlas have become a big daddy, like these are there. It says either harvest or rescue every little sister in the game. But then a locked one, there's still a locked one that says complete the game without harvesting any. We didn't harvest any. So that's weird. Maybe I just have to wait for the credits to roll on this one. And then that one might pop, who knows. Um, but some of these are actually, some of these are actually glitched. That's so strange. If I look at my, if I look at my Xbox app, it actually says that I have gotten the achievement for fully researching the Rosie. That's at 100%. And same with inventing 100 items. Don't know what to tell you. The game's bugged in so many ways. So many save crashes, so many glitches in objects and items and, uh, and enemies and all sorts of things. Uh, the save crashes being the most unforgivable part of that, unfortunately. Like, I can deal with funny glitches and things getting in the way, that's fine. When your saves crash, when your game crashes, when your autosave sucks, that's like t fundamentally broken. So unfortunately, the uh, half end of this of this playthrough was plagued with, with some issues, but I did push through. I did push through. Uh, so the game for me was longer than it needed to be, <laughs> but uh, I had I had such a great time uh, being able to play through Bioshock again. Um, I can only hope that Bioshock 2 and Bioshock Infinite do not have those same issues in their remastered versions. I can only you know hope not. Uh, but we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, this was just more of like a fun playthrough that I wanted to do uh, in response to Dex playing. Um, Bioshock because we managed to convince him to play it so he can now see my hard mode playthrough of saving all the little sisters because Dex is a monster who has been harvesting them out of greed so if you want to see a harvesting little sister playthrough and also a playthrough in absolute shambles for his first time playing Bioshock on hard uh, go check out Dex's playthrough um, 
and join our Discord because we talk about it and it's and it's hilarious. But uh, this has been a playthrough that I've been enjoying playing uh, in preparation for me being on break. So you guys have been watching this one while I've been uh, on a break from the channel, but I still wanted to provide some content for you. Uh, so if you enjoyed this playthrough and you're enjoying the current playthroughs on the channel, would you kindly subscribe? That would be great. I'd love the opportunity to have you here and to build this community um, and, you know, so, so many more games to come. A lot of them I haven't played, and I'd love the opportunity to put some playthroughs on the channel of games I have played, uh, like the Bioshock series. Um, we're going to let the credits roll to see if there's anything uh, after that at the end, um, and then we will close out the episode. All right, that's Bioshock. All done. Done and dusted. Nothing after the credits, but we do have the director's commentary where we did miss a few. So we missed um, three director's commentaries in uh, different places and there's also the museum uh, which I've not checked out yet and additional content which they do have challenge rooms which is pretty cool um, so I've never checked that out before either but let's have a look at the museum just to round it out as an epilogue to the playthrough let's have a look through what the museum is I'm very curious actually to see what this is about Welcome to the Museum of Orphaned Concepts, a guided tour of ideas that Irrational Games discarded or reworked heavily during the making of the original Bioshock. How cool is that? Okay. So it's like a... Oh, this is really cool because it's like a walk-in gallery, like an actual museum of almost like concept art, right? Like conceptual designs. More games should have this. This is actually such a cool idea. Like, ideas from the original Bioshock that you can actually walk around and see. Like, they've actually fully modeled this stuff. Look at this. Exhibit. Slow Pro Fum. Irrational's internal name for this prototype Big Daddy variant who mauled players with an enormous hook and fired... Uh, enormous hook and fired iron bearings from a barrel stood for slow projectile fucked up melee. He survived long enough to become a fully functional AI, but the team eventually cut him to focus on polishing the other Big Daddy types. This model later appeared in Bioshock 2 as the Rumbler, throwing miniature turrets instead of cannonballs. Slight spoiler for Bioshock 2 is there will be a variant of... There's a variant of this, apparently, which I even forgot about, called the Rumbler. But there you go. Look at this one with his fucking... He ain't got no hands. Early Bouncer. This original model for the Bouncer type of Big Daddy featured a flat-headed drill at the end of each arm. The Big Daddies were envisioned as the builders of Rapture. With weapons modified from tools, they would have used it in its construction. When the Gatherers were reimagined as Little Sisters, one of the Bouncer's drills was changed to a gloved hand so the two characters could interact with each other. Which I think is really nice. That's really cool. You get to see, like, the concept art and everything of them. That's so cool. So you can see, like, the cannon. I guess the hook is there in the concept art, but not on the actual character. Oh, this is so sweet. What the hell is this? Oh, this is a gatherer? What? The Gatherer. It may be hard to imagine that this creature, whose job was to reclaim Adam from corpses around Rapture, was the earliest iteration of the idea behind the Little Sister. Since the Gatherer generated absolutely no sympathy from players, the team experimented with concepts for featuring a number of animals, including the infamous dog in a wheelchair, and later a grotesque miniature humanoid. Finally, a concept sketch of a deformed child inspired the Eureka moment responsible for the Little Sisters. Yeah, the Little Sisters, I think, is the best way to do that, especially if you're looking to showcase empathy no one's going to show empathy for whatever the fuck that is <laughs> that's disgusting okay well there you go let's head down the stairs into the next area early splicer concept art moving from grotesque to human was a slow process while early concepts saw the melee enemies grew monstrous arms the team had trouble conveying how someone who had spliced to become a marksman would appear you can see uh, early big daddy concept art for the rosy Envisioned as a construction worker, had been repurposed as a protector for the gatherers. Protector concept art. Originally called protectors, were envisioned as dive-suited construction workers, retasked with the defense of atom gatherers. They used construction tools or impro improvised weapons that looked like they had been found on the seafloor. From left to right are early concepts for the melee ranged and slow projectile protectors. That's awesome. What the f is this? Grenada Splicer. 
the Grey Elephantine Splicer was an early grenadier from the same period of development as Stitchy and Hooker. He was a guy who spliced to carry around giant grenades and throw them at you, says lead artist Sean Robertson. The model was built and textured, but never animated. Wonderful. Actual concept art. Early environmental study. I love environmental concept art. So cool. Character design and environmental concept art is some of my favorite stuff. What are you? The Hooker. Created around the same time as Stitchy and the Grenadier, the Splice was dubbed the Hooker because of her weapon of choice. His concept evolved into the Spider Splicer and was decided that the Splicer models can fill any behavior role, and the Hooker model later became the Baby Jane Splicer. Jesus. Be nice if there was some, like, a bit of music. A bit of music would be nice. Yeah, it's very quiet in here. Stitchy, the first splicer that Irrational created for Bioshock. Uh, Stitchy was used in many, er, many early game uh, concept demos um, and was fully functional in game with kinematics, hit reactions, and voiceover. It took us that long to realize he wasn't a good model. Uh, this is probably the worst abortion <laughs> that Irrational has ever made. It actually, like, this almost made it all the way right to the end. And then they were like, yeah, this sucks. <laughs> That's insane. This concept art is so cool. Another abomination. Pre-yam hand. Before solidifying the fiction around Adam, Irrational experimented with the idea of it being an external injected substance. Here you can see us playing around with Adam being mechanically injected. So this splice has got vials of it in his belt. This model was created, but never made it into the game in any form. Oh, wow. We got all the marine and fish life up here at the top as well. Not as much as a cut concept as an Easter egg for Observant Museum visitors. These sea creatures can be seen swimming past the player's view during the Bathysphere ride down to Rapture in Bioshock's opening sequence. So we missed uh, forest concept art. Cool. We've got the second set of stairs. Big Daddy concept art. Bursting through a wall which inspired the audio log for the Big Daddy training grounds area about a road Big Daddy. The player then encountered him at the end of the level. Ah, oh, that's the road Big Daddy that we... Okay, that's the one that we fought up against. So he didn't see us as inferior. It's literally a Big Daddy that went rogue. They could have played around with that way more. It was just made it like a random fight against the Big Daddy. So I was kind of left more confused than anything. Jesus. What's going on here? Yam Hand model. Derisively called Yam Hand around Irrational Games, the poster child of the conceptual phase that preceded the decision to go with human enemies. I'd point out the drawings behind the model. You can see the top one got built, but the other two informed the design as well. As we trended more towards humanoids, the Scooby monsters got goofier and less scary. Yeah, this stuff is pretty goofy. I'm glad that they went more for, like, humans that are kind of, like, still, like, they're kind of, like, crazy and rambling and, like, but they still retain their human identity, uh, which I think is very good instead of turning them into monsters because you can relate more to the, and empathize with the little sisters and the splices and, like, these people who lived normal lives and then were, like, went down the, the dark... <laughs> Uh, the dark path of splicing, instead of just like looking at these being like, oh, I'm just literally fighting like monsters downstairs. This character is essentially the missing link between the grotesque early designs and the human splices that appeared in Bioshock. This is the last bad model we did before moving on to what we actually went into the shipping game. Um, after playing with him for a while, we just said, why don't we use humans instead? I always thought of these as Scooby-Doo monsters because they were too inhuman to evoke empathy. Exactly. Ew, what's going on here? Early Big Daddy concept art. This was the fourth protector concept, originally created with an organic slug attached to it. A model was started but never completed as the team narrowed their focus to three and finally just two Big Daddy types. I still liked this as a projector. We started modeling and I really pushed to get it in even just a static model on the floor, but it never made it. Interesting. Ooh. Early creature concepts. These were some of the earliest pieces done for Bioshock from back when Irrational was still working on SWAT 4. The only concrete ideas at that point were an undersea city and biological experimentation, so early concepts focused on those themes. That does make sense. Wild. 
I think that is our lovely museum. That's really neat. A nice little walkthrough of some really early concepts of stuff that looks like a completely different uh, type of game. Uh, so that's that's really cool. That's the museum. Wonderful. Guys, thank you so much for watching this playthrough of Bioshock and the final episode, the ending. And then we also check out the museum. Uh, it was, again, very pleasant to uh, recapture uh, this experience for me and to share it with with all of you um it was it was nice getting in all the story and all the tapes getting most of them we all we got so close uh and we pushed through you know we pushed through a hell of a lot of bugs <laughs> to get to to get to this point so i hope you enjoyed the playthrough uh thanks so much for watching i'm looking forward to making my return on the channel uh with some new games uh in the month of october uh so stay tuned for that uh but regardless i hope you've enjoyed uh this playthrough in the meantime Time because I wanted to make sure you guys at least could have something to watch instead of just leaving the channel uh, empty because you know I, I know you guys some of you guys are only here for particular stuff so maybe it doesn't actually matter but I, I did just want to at least have something on the channel um, while I was while I was away and you know making sure I had everything set up because I have been like moving uh, moving house and getting everything set up and um, making sure that I'm like in a good space to like continue pushing out some content. So with that one guys, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.